with the engineers para sa video natin na to is tutuloy natin yung steps in the design of double reinforced beam so this will be for the last part ng mga steps and this is for steps 13 to steps number 16 so simulan natin on step number 13 so step number 13 sabi dito determine the compression steel area by the equilibrium equation of the second diagram so syempre this is the second stress diagram dito din nang gagaling yung second nominal moment natin so by using the equilibrium equation of this diagram mapoproduce natin yung compression steel area so that is just equal to C2 is equal to P2 so, our compression 2 or C sub 2 will correspond to the compression steel. So, that will be A prime S. So, let's say na yield yung steel from our previous step. So, that will be Fy minus 0.85 of F prime C. That is equal to AS2 FY. Siyempre, FY pa rin yung tension side natin kasi this is a design. So, we always assume that steels are yielding. Then, getting A prime is we can have A value AS2 FY over Fy minus 0.85 of our F prime C. Ito ngayon yung equation natin kapag yielding yung steel or yielding yung compression steel. So, this is for compression yields kapag naman hindi yielding yung compression steel natin so this equation will be modified as A prime S is equal to AS2 over uh, AS2 FY over F prime S minus 0.85 of our F prime C so ito ngayon yung equation natin for So, that is for compression steel does not yield. So, this is for compression steel does not yield. So, yan ngayon yung ating step number 13. Kasi ang sabi lang naman dyan, kunin natin yung compression steel area. Now, we proceed to step number 14. We have to determine the number of tension and compression steel bars. So, kasi nakuha na natin from previous step, what is the total tension steel area. And nakuha na din natin from step number 13, yung compression steel area. So, we are now ready to determine the value of the number of tension and compression bars. So, for the compression or okay, compression bars muna. So, for compression bars So, that will be a value n prime. Let's say that is n prime. So, that will be a prime s divided by the area of the bar. So, that will just be a prime s times pi over 4 times the diameter of the bar squared. So, that is for compression bars. And for our tension bars...
So, we take it as N. So, that is equal to AS over the area of bar. And that is also AS over pi over 4 times yung bar niya or diameter ng bar niya squared. Kung ano man yung diameter ng bar for the tension side. So, that is step number 14 in determining the number of bars for the compression and for the tension. Now, for step number 15, sabi dito, check the spacing of bars and provide appropriate arrangement and bar diameter. So, dito natin kasi tinitignan kung ano yung mas okay na bar diameter and kung ano yung papasok dun sa spacing requirements natin. So, sinusunod pa rin natin dito yung requirements for spacing. Nandyan yung 4 thirds nung diameter ng aggregates and sabi ko nga kapag residential yung structures um, 3 fourths lang din naman yung ginagamit for the diameter of aggregate so that is uh, a 1 inch na value for 4 thirds times 3 fourth inch so that will be a 1 inch na requirement ni code so isa pang requirement is 25 mm and, isa pang requirement will be DB. So, automatically, kung yung 4 thirds diameter ng aggregate dun, so, syempre, ang pipiliin kasi dito, whichever is greater. So, kung automatic yung 4 thirds diameter ng aggregate dun, which is 1 inch, so, that is approximately equivalent to 25mm. So, kung ang bars natin is 25mm pababa, automatically, 25 yung minimum natin. If ang bar natin is 25mm, uh, tw greater than 25mm, so, syempre, ang gagamitin natin will be dB. Kung given na, na ang diameter ng aggregates natin is 3 fourths. Pero kung hindi, we will choose among whichever is greater. So, since meron na tayong minimum requirement, ang kailangan natin chicken is yung spacing ng bars, which is, na-discuss na natin dun sa design ng singly as S. So, this is for tension. So, that is S is equal to the base minus the dalawang clear cover minus anim na diameter ng stirrups minus n minus 1 times diameter ng bar divided by n minus 1 so this is the check for or this is the clear spacing for our tension reinforcement and for our compression reinforcement that is s prime so that is equal to b minus dalawang clear cover ulit minus anim na diameter ng stirrups minus n minus 1 times diameter ng bar nung compression natin divided by n minus 1 so since compression to this is n prime and this will be n prime so checking this one kung okay siya sa spacing we use single layer reinforcement. At kung hindi, we will try to use bundled bars or we could also use two layer reinforcement. So, sa compression side naman, bihira na mangyari na magkaroon tayo ng two bars or two layered bars. Sa tension side, uh, appropriate lang na pwede tayong maglagay ng two layered bars kung kinakailangan para masunod natin yung spacing requirements. So, that will be step number 15. And for our last step, this will be step number 16. We have to proceed to the analysis of W reinforced beam and check if the moment capacity of the design beam is sufficient to carry the actual ultimate moment. So, dito sa part na to, didiretso lang tayo or magpo-proceed lang tayo doon sa 
analysis ng doble natin which is our previous topic so dun kasi natin kukunin yung moment capacity nung na-design na natin na beam na arrange na yung reinforcement so ang i-check na lang natin dun is kailangan yung MU capacity na na-calculate natin sa analysis ng doble will be greater than the MU actual so yung MU actual na to is galing sa structural analysis so kapag napatunayan natin that this one or etong MU capacity is greater than uh, MU actual therefore this beam is safe So, that will be all for the discussion of the steps in the design of double reinforced beam. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.